Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode. Still the beginning of July, which means it's best tech time under $100 today. If you missed it, I did under 50 bucks on July the 1st. I will leave that linked up here. But before we get into it, we had a winner from the June episodes, which was... Congrats to Jason Donegan. You won one of those random items that's getting shipped out. And just to confirm from yesterday's episode, Danny P, here's the little screenshot of that. I'm still waiting for that email to swap between us. So congrats to both of you. <laughs> for everyone else, you can win one of the items that you see in today's episode. Simply comment down below which one was your fave. Be sure to sub to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I drop my latest vid. And in August, August. I always seem to struggle with my months on these episodes, but in next month's series, I will announce the winner. So best of luck to everyone. Let's get to our first $100 item. So the first one, a mechanical keyboard. This is the Logitech G910, and it's almost a year old now, and it's dropped in price from the original value. I think these retailed for 175 bucks. I've seen these low as 100. I think right now they're around 120. Still definitely worth it. One of the best keyboards that I've used, especially if you're into hardcore gaming, mechanical keyboards, naturally the way to go. These have a full RGB lighting spectrum. You can change all of the colors of the lights with the corresponding app that you need to download. I've been using this mostly to play SC2. This is the very keyboard that I got into Masters League, or you can assign macros on the right-hand side, your left, if you're into MMOs, I need to devote more time to gaming. Check this guy out. Remember, everything is linked down below. The second item on today's list is something that I've upgraded to recently in my gear game. This is a dual suction cup mount for a camera. Stick this usually on cars or any flat surface. The best part though has to be not only the dual suction cups, but the dual ball head mounts. You've got one located there and one up top. So you can really articulate the position of your camera because usually single suction cup mounts only have one ball head or maybe even none. Trust me, having the versatility of putting your camera in any position without having to worry where the suction cups placed. Plus you've got the peace of mind that your two to $3,000 camera is being held in place by two suction cup mounts. Gives you a bit more calmness if you're driving 100 kilometers an hour and your camera is outside on the windshield. Highly, highly recommended. Item number three on today's list, another pair of Bluetooth headphones. These ones are the Atomic V201s. Probably the best sounding headphones that I've used for under $100. They compare in sound quality to perhaps the Bose QC35s. They do have active noise canceling, perhaps not as comfy, but if you're not looking to spend $350 and looking to save a bit of money in the bank, these are the perfect option. They're still super comfy, have worn them for five, six hours on a flight, have taken them with me to LA. The noise canceling switch on the side, you really can't hear anything else around you when you've got them on. Helps drown out that weird droning sound. That's the engine on the plane, crying kids, snoring people beside you. I would check these out if you're not trying to break the bank. They've got a carbon fiber finish, super soft, plush, faux leather cups on the inside. Not to mention, they sound awesome. Got a great kick of bass in them too. Item number four, which I teased when I got this over at E3. You can see it's got the limited edition 64 out of 1,000, but this is the latest Xbox One customizable controllers that you can make over in the Xbox Design Lab. A few new features and customizations this year. You've got bits of metallic, which you see I've got my triggers, as well as the D-pad. They also have rubberized grips on the inside, so it makes gaming a bit easier. And there are different colorways that you can get. There are thousands of color options that you can go for. And I've also got my third controller coming in, which also has my gamer tag on the bottom. This naturally, luckily, has bits of orange as it's obviously my favorite color. I challenge you to design your own, make it the coolest looking, share it with me online somewhere, and maybe we can play some Xbox together. I will leave my gamer tag down below as well. And item number five, which I've surprisingly been using way more than when I initially got it, this is the Daydream VR headset. Pairs with my Google Pixel, I've been enjoying 
more and more VR content over the past little while. This one you can pick up, I think, for 75 bucks. As long as you've got a phone with Daydream View enabled, just like the Pixel, just like the S8, curious to see if you guys are into VR content, let me know what your favorite app is and I will be sure to check it out. Anyways, that will wrap up some of the best tech items under a hundred bucks for the month of July. Let me know which one your fave was down below in the comments. Be sure to sub to the channel and stay posted for next month's episodes, or you can be super cool and I will catch you in my next episode or next vlog. Peace.